While researching this video, we writers here at the Infographics Institute got kinda jealous. The Big Boss doesn't allow us to keep action figures, potted plants, or anything else in our pods, let alone have a cool office mascot. Also, the Big Boss stocks the bathroom with nearly see-through one-ply toilet paper. <clears throat> but that's a tale for another day. Corporal Wojtek was perhaps the coolest mascot one could wish for. Wojtek was a 6 foot tall, 500 or so pound brown bear that fought alongside Polish soldiers during World War II. In April of 1942, a group of Polish POWs newly released from a Siberian gulag were traveling by train throughout the Iranian mountains. They were headed to join the British allies in the Middle East during a stopover in Hamadan, Iran. Some soldiers shared food with a young Kurdish boy who had a large sack. The soldiers noticed that the sack was moving, and the child showed off his find. He had a scrawny little Syrian brown bear cub. He found it abandoned and thought that his mother had been shot by hunters. The soldiers pulled together their meager resources so that Lt. Anatol Tarnovietsky could trade the boy for the bear cub. Reportedly, the bear was swapped for a chocolate bar, a Swiss army knife, a can of corned beef, and some other canned goods. Lt. Tarnovietsky kept the bear for a few months, eventually donating him to the soldiers of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company. The soldiers named the bear Wojtek, or Happy Warrior. They babied the cub, turning vodka bottles into impromptu baby bear bottles and feeding him condensed milk. As he grew, he was also fed fruit, marmalade, honey syrup, and beer as a treat. Wojtek quickly adapted to camp life. He wrestled with the soldiers, gathered around the campfire with them at night, and slept in their tents. The soldiers taught him to salute. He liked chasing down and eating the oranges the soldiers threw for grenade practice. Seeing how docile Wojtek was and the morale boost he brought to the soldiers, officers didn't mind having him around. He became the unofficial mascot of the company. Interacting with the bear was a pleasant distraction for the homesick soldiers, some of whom were barely more than boys. As Wojtek grew bigger and stronger, the soldiers would wrestle him two and three at a time. Sometimes they'd play tug-of-war. Wojtek also made friends with other animals in the camp, including a Dalmatian belonging to a British liaison officer. The bear and the dog would spend hours chasing and play fighting each other. The soldiers taught Wojtek to pick up men by their boots and dangle them upside down. It was a great way to haze unsuspecting rookies who thought they were going to get eaten by a bear. Wojtek copied much of the behavior he saw around him. He learned to stand on his hind legs and march along with the soldiers. He became skilled at drinking beer from a bottle. Also, he liked to eat lit cigarettes. He'd hold his mouth open for the cigarettes to be placed in, take a puff, and then swallow it. Some claimed that he would only accept cigarettes if they were lit and turn up his nose at unlit ones. Sure, today we'd call this animal abuse, but the soldiers loved the bear, and it was a different time. Apparently, Wojtek was a fan of coffee, too. Along with the 22nd Company, Wojtek was stationed in Iraq, Syria, and then Palestine, and eventually Egypt. The bear had a reputation for being mischievous and getting into all sorts of things. At an Allied Forces camp in Iraq, to the horror of some terrified women, Wojtek stole ladies' underwear off a clothesline. On Christmas Eve, after a traditional Polish feast where he and many of the other soldiers really enjoyed the wine, a drunken Wojtek broke into a camp storeroom. He trashed the room, spilling cooking oil and flour while looking for jam and other sweets. Wojtek also figured out how to get into the communal showers and turn on the taps. Unfortunately, he was really bad at rationing water, which was a precious commodity in the Middle East. Sometimes the shower-loving bear would cause water shortages. The army took to keeping the bathhouse door locked. Wojtek would hang around outside in hopes of getting in. One day in June of 1943, Wojtek noticed the bathhouse door had been left unlocked and ambled in. An Arab spy on a reconnaissance mission had hidden in the showers and was now face to face with the bear. The spy's screams of terror alerted the camp guards, who quickly took the man into custody. The spy was so afraid of Wojtek that he blabbed various secrets, including news of an impending raid, which the army then moved quickly to foil. As a result, Wojtek received sweetmeats, beer, and was allowed to take an extra long shower. In 1944, the Polish Corps shipped out from Alexandria, Egypt, heading to Naples, Italy, to fight alongside the British 8th Army. Unfortunately, the British ship the soldiers were to travel on had rules against allowing mascot and pet animals aboard. The 22nd Company got around the regulations by enlisting Wojtek in the army. 
He was given the rank of private and had his own paybook and serial number. During the brutal Battle of Monte Cassino, Wojtek watched soldiers carry 100-pound crates of 25-pound artillery shells from the supply trucks to the front line. The bear quickly began copying the soldiers, standing upright and carrying boxes that would usually require multiple men to move. However, sometimes Wojtek was lazy and carried empty crates. The Allies won the difficult battle and Wojtek's actions earned him a promotion to the rank of corporal. Also due to his popularity, a depiction of a bear carrying an artillery shell was adopted as the official emblem of the 22nd Company. The emblem was put on vehicles, flags, pins, and uniforms. Once World War II ended in 1945, the 22nd Company, including Wojtek, were stationed at Winifred Airfield on Sunwick Farm in Scotland. Wojtek became popular with the locals, especially with the children and the press. In 1947, the Polish army demobilized and most of the soldiers returned home to Poland. They were heartbroken to say goodbye to Wojtek. The bear was sent to the Edinburgh Zoo. At first, the zoo decided to introduce him to the other bears, but it didn't work. Wojtek thought he was a human. As a result, he was given his own exhibit. Sometimes, Wojtek's former comrades would come to visit him. They'd hop the fence to his area and wrestle or cuddle with him. They'd also bring him beer and throw him lit cigarettes. The zookeepers noticed that Wojtek perked up whenever he heard Polish being spoken. Wojtek lived out the rest of his days at the zoo, passing away in 1963 at the age of 22. Both Edinburgh and Krakow have monuments featuring sculptures of Wojtek. The Imperial War and Sikorsky Museums in London also have memorials. And now that you've reached the end of our video, why not keep the watch party going? For another wild animal story, who can forget the guy who kept a tiger in his Bronx apartment? And if you ever wondered what the most dangerous jobs in the military are, wonder no more. Experience the vicarious thrills, but none of the ills.